Okay, and Blender 2.83 was released a few days ago. It brings more cool new features for Blender users in all fields. So how about architecture visualization? Is there anything new for us? Today, I'm gonna dive into the new features that can help us in our Artfish project. Let's check it out. So I've actually been trying Blender 2.83 for about a month now. And I would say I'm really impressed by the optics AI denoising, which can integrate right in your viewport. This feature can only work with RTX, which is not a cheap way to achieve, but it's very worth it. This is the result of NVIDIA and Blender collaboration. This also allows Blender to use RTX Core from RTX cards to enhance the render time. And with the optics denoiser, Cycle can make it two times faster than normal CUDA setting. I already have a video about using it and many other ways to increase the render speed. You can click on the top right corner to learn more. The second thing that I'm really excited about is the adaptive sampling feature. This is a feature which can work in any PC or any graphic card, but it needs more work around to have the best result. So to turn it on, just go to the render tab and check the adaptive sampling feature, and then you're good to go. What it does is it will automatically reduce the sample on each tie when needed based on the complexity of that particular tie. For example, when you render in the interior, then the wall will need less sample than glossy material like glass and metal, right? So in the adaptive sampling rollout, we have some options to tweak to have the best setting for our scenes noise threshold and mean samples. Noise thresholds allow us to set the noise level. When it meets that amount of noise, Cycle will stop sampling and switch to the next tar. The smaller the value, the less noise it has. Zero is the default setting, which Cycle will guess the amount of noise for you. Mean samples is used when you want to set the minimum sample for each time. And again, zero is automatically set in based on square root of your current total samples. So the setting is really based on your scene complexity. In my interior render, I found that the noise should be lowered at around 0.005 to 0.01 to have the best quality. Using this feature means you can set the topo samples really high, maybe around 3000 to 4000 and then just adjust the setting of adaptive sampling to fit your scene. This can require you to test the scene many times to have the right setting. It's quite tricky, but in most cases, it can reduce the render time a lot, even two times faster without an RTS card, especially when it comes with a serial render with a lot of sky or a zero background. It's really lighting fast. So, to make the best view of it, I recommend you to turn on the sample count pass in the layer tab. This one will show the sample count amount of your scenes, and it basically looks like this. The higher amount sample will appear in white, while the lower ones are in gray, and the lowest one in black. By turning this pass on, you can see and control the amount of noise in your render, rather than control the amount of samples. So, there are more features and updates for Blender user in 2.83, but those two are the most exciting updates in my opinion. So how about you? What do you think about this version and what is the feature you like the most? Please comment below to let me know. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.